the key to loving others rests in the ability to love yourself. Hi, I'm Nordin Zwarek. Love. Any kind of love. Love for your partner, love for your parents, love for your kids. It all begins within you. Let me explain. When you are not loving yourself, you're not respecting yourself, your health, your well-being, your fitness, how can you then pretend to be loving others? If you don't have, have the ability to love yourself, how can you love someone else? It is in my experience that when we cling to others for love, we stay with others for love. It is no longer called love. It's called codependency. You see, we are depending on the other to give us love. And the other is depending on us to give them love. But then there is no love for oneself. It is more a, of a fear state of mind, not a love state of being. Fear state of mind, not love state of being. When we are clinging to others, especially during the pandemic, many, as you know, when the pandemic, pandemic started, they freaked out and started to seek company, to many have adopted pets and now sadly returned them. When the pandemic is calming down, they are returning them. I don't think that's very fair. They did that, some even did that with people. They used people as a clutch. They met during the pandemic and they were supporting each other, which is great, but it wasn't love-based, it was fear-based. And when the pandemic started to wind down, they felt more safe, more secure. They did not need the other person any longer. That is proof that there was no love to begin with. So, always check within. When, if you are alone and you are okay being alone, you're not in a rush to seek a relationship based on fear, but based on love. If you are at peace with yourself, then you're ready. If you're at peace with being alone, then you're ready. But if you're seeking someone else, if you're seeking company, if you're seeking relationship in the name of love, and you don't have it for yourself, it's just a recipe for disaster. So be okay being alone. When you respect yourself, you're taking care of yourself, of your health, your well-being. You are exercising. You're eating somewhat healthy. You're meditating. When you're at peace, when you have that peace within, just like, like the lotus flower that lives on a bed of dirt, but yet it's beautiful and strong. When you're like that lotus flower, you are ready. So my friends, ask yourself this question. When you're seeking out instead of seeking in, 
ask yourself, am I loving and respecting myself? Am I doing the things that need to be done, the things that are conducive to my health and well-being and the health and well-being of my loved ones, my friends, my family? Am I doing that? Ask yourself that question. And if you're not, just start. Start getting yourself in that conducive environment, that positive environment, whether it's inside, in and out, that is positive, conducive to health and well-being. Okay. Start doing that. Get out of your home if you're always locked in there and stuck, froze in that fear, anxiety, doubt. Just get out there. Just get out there and be. Do the things that you need to be doing. Again, the key to loving others rests in the ability to love yourself. Now, don't hesitate. Ask questions below. Leave comments, like, follow. Please, stay healthy and stay safe.